If you're an INFJ like me, you probably find the idea of networking a little bit overwhelming. But what if I told you that your unique traits can make you a master at networking and help you build meaningful connections? In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can leverage your intuition, empathy, and deep thinking to help you navigate the world of networking with ease. And by the end of this video, you'll have actionable strategies to make networking feel natural and enjoyable. So why listen to me? Because as an INFJ, I networked my way in into my dream company Nike when I was 23. And I help people do the exact same thing. So if you're interested in that, let's get on a call where I can learn more about you. Let's jump in. So if you want to effectively network as an INFJ, the first step is to understand and leverage your natural strengths. Firstly, empathy is one of your superpowers. You have a remarkable ability to understand and share the feelings of others. And this is gonna allow you to connect on a deeper level. This means that when you network, you can take the conversation past the surface level and take it into deep territory. Most people cannot do this. And what this does is that it creates a sense of trust and authenticity that's hard to find in these typical networking situations. Secondly, your intuition is a guiding force. You can sense what others need or want to talk about before they even say anything. This skill allows you to steer conversations in meaningful directions. Lastly, deep thinking sets you apart. INFJs are introspective and thoughtful, and we try to understand the larger purpose behind actions and decisions. This depth can make your conversations richer. So now that you understand the strengths of INFJs, the next Next step is setting the right mindset for networking. For many INFJs, the idea of networking, it can seem daunting because it often feels superficial and transactional. The first thing that you want to do is reframe networking as relationship building. The way I do this is that I've convinced myself that anytime I meet a person for the first time, it's an opportunity for me. And when I say opportunity, I want to define that as a chance to gain new insights, perspectives, opinions and new information from another person. When you let curiosity be the driver, the conversation itself becomes effortless. Next, embrace your authenticity. You're unique. There are 8 billion people on this planet and not one of them is 100% you. Use this to your advantage by being your true self in every interaction. Share your genuine interests, your hobbies, your experiences, your perspectives. People want to know what makes you, you. Lastly, focus on quality instead of quantity. Rather than trying to meet as many people as possible, aim to have a few quality interactions where you can truly connect and learn about the other person. It's better to have four quarters than a hundred pennies. Now, the one thing that we're really good at as INFJs is preparation and planning. And I leveraged this when I was trying to network my way into Nike. I reached out to sales directors on LinkedIn asking for 15 minutes of their time for an informational interview. And when I hopped on that call, most of my questions would be based on their profile. I noticed you oversaw the Nike sportswear category as a sales director. What was it like managing the largest sport category at Nike in Chicago? I saw that you went to UT Austin for your undergrad. I was actually there in Austin a couple of years back for an internship. What was the transition like from college to Nike? And people are impressed when you do this because it shows that you've taken time out of your day to learn something new about someone else. So research the people that you want to connect with. And I'm saying this in a professional setting. Obviously, you can't research someone if you just met them for the first time at a house party. Anytime that you can research someone, do it. Just do it. People want to know that you've done your homework on them. Because guess what? Most people don't. Most people are too lazy to go on someone's profile, scan their profile for something that stands out, and mention it to the person who might provide your next opportunity in life. Look up their profiles on LinkedIn, read their bios, read where they went to school, and you want to note any common interests or experiences. And this segues into my next point, which is prepare thoughtful questions. And again, this is another superpower of INFJs. Ask questions that most people don't ask. Weave your knowledge of that person and their profile into your questions. Think about what you want to learn from the people that you're meeting. Open-ended questions work best. There's a big difference between asking what do you do and what inspires you to wake up every single day to do what you do. Now, the way that you want to be putting all of this into action is by leveraging one-on-one -on -one interactions. For INFJ specifically, one-on-one -on -one interactions is where you truly shine. Because these settings are intimate, it will allow you to form genuine connections. 
and this will make networking a more rewarding experience. Look for opportunities where you can interact with people individually or even in small groups. This could be through informational interviews, coffee meetings, and this setting will allow you to use your strengths of empathy and deep thinking to connect on a meaningful level. I know we hate small talk. Easiest way to get over this is to be curious and ask someone about their experience or perspective. Remember, the person that asks the questions in a conversation has the most important job because they dictate the direction of the conversation. Now, one of the greatest strengths of INFJs is our ability to listen deeply. I constantly find myself remembering the little details from a conversation that I had with someone five months ago for no reason. And when I bring this up later, people ask me, how do you remember that? Listening. And again, this is a superpower. Most people do not listen because they're quick to speak. The second that you show that you're fully present in the conversation, eye contact, nodding, you're responding thoughtfully to what the other person is saying. You're reflecting on their points. You're asking follow-up questions because you're engaged. You're in control. And what this does is that it builds a solid foundation for a relationship. Lastly, follow up and maintain the relationship. When I ended up getting an interview with Nike, I followed up with every single person that I had an informational interview with. And I let them know that, hey, I actually have an interview with Nike. Almost every single one of them gave me pointers and support. With one person going as far as providing the exact interview framework and the potential questions that they might ask me. And three years later, I still keep in touch with the people that gave me an informational interview before I got to Nike. So keep that connection going. A relationship is a two-way street. Now, I wanna talk about the vehicle that I used to put networking in action. And that's utilizing online platforms, specifically LinkedIn. Now, this is what I did. And let me tell you, this is my first time doing it. Reaching out to 20 to 30 people a day, asking for an informational interview, and conducting that for months and months and months, it was scary, it was not easy, but it worked. And that's the only thing that matters. So the first thing that you wanna do is optimize your LinkedIn profile. Your LinkedIn profile is your personal brand. So make sure you have a professional photo, a compelling headline, a great summary, and an experience section that outlines what you've achieved. If you reach out to someone, the first thing that they're gonna do is check out your profile. So make sure that it's appealing. The next thing that you wanna do is reach out with personalized messages. Avoid the generic like I said before, as INFJs, we love to do our research. So show people that you've done your homework and that you're genuinely interested in the other person. To walk you through how this played out for me, I'm gonna throw up the message that I sent a sales director out in New York and I asked for 15 minutes of her time. So she agreed and that 15 minute conversation turned into an hour and a half. We just clicked. And I truly believe the reason why it clicked was that I was genuinely curious about her. I did not know what Nike sales looked like. So I was interested in her 17 year journey. She didn't only do sales, she was in merchandising. She was also in planning at some point. She was in various different functions. So I was interested in learning about this other person. And at the end of it, she literally said, Sash, I like you. I'm gonna refer you to other people within my network. And she connected me with different directors and account executives at Nike. These were the three group chats that I was in literally five minutes after finishing up that call. And this is me putting into action everything that I just talked about. I'm leveraging my curiosity to speak with people. I'm learning about people. They're referring me to other people within their network. And what started to happen was that I started to create a networking pyramid where I would jump on a call with one person, they would refer me to another person, and I'd repeat the cycle. And then it got to a point where I spoke with a certain director and she referred me to the president of Nike Canada. And that was how I got my foot in the door with Nike. When you utilize a platform like LinkedIn effectively, and you combine that with your strengths as an INFJ, opportunities will present themselves to you. Networking as an INFJ does not have to be scary. Remember, the key to successful networking lies in curiosity, authenticity, and focusing on quality instead of quantity. Approach each interaction with a genuine interest in the other person and use your empathy to your advantage. Networking should enrich your life and career, not drain it. By following these strategies and recognizing the superpowers that you possess, you can transform your outlook on networking and truly build meaningful connections in your life. Share this video with other INFJs out there. We truly have superpowers that we need to be using more often. So get after it. Appreciate you guys for sticking around as always. My name is Sash. Peace.